Hi guys, just a quick one today. I want to show you a little lick that I use quite a lot, a little drum fill, which I used to get out of drum beats. Usually if you want to end a drum, a bar of drum beat with a drum fill, say on beat four, you play something like four, three, and four, one, two, three, and four. Four sixteenth notes, followed by a crash cymbal. What I like to do is I like to start that roll with a flam. Um, and so I play a left hand flam on beat four, followed by the left hand. So you're, like, you're playing a double with the left hand. A left hand flam followed by a left. It's like a flam tap. And the reason you want to do that is because you want to get back onto your normal hands as quickly as possible. Usually when you play four E and uh, the E and the uh are played with the left hand. Four E and uh. So by starting with the left hand flam and then playing a left, which happens to be the E of four, you're, you're getting back on the left hand as quickly as possible. Four E and a uh, one. Four E and a uh, one. So you end the roll with your right hand on beat one of the next bar. So it, it, resolves nicely with the right hand. And of course you can orchestrate it around the drums like that. Another thing you might want to do is to play the last note of that um, roll, 4 E and, and the left hand with the uh, up on the crash cymbal and then your right hand will hit another crash cymbal after the drum fill, so you get two crash cymbals in the row, a one, and you can choose to play with the bass drum, this hand here, or without the bass drum. Without the bass drum sounds like this. And with the bass drum, lots of different ways you can use it to end a drum fill and add a flam in there as well in a kind of cool place at the beginning of, of the roll. So I hope you found that funny useful. Until next time, happy drumming to you.